Hello everyone, this is Elliot Serrano of the Chicago Red Eye and Geek to Me, coming to you once again from Dreamland Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois, with my picks of the week. So if you plan on going into the sh comic shop this week and uh, haven't made up your mind as to what you want to buy, here are a couple books that are might be a little bit off the beaten path that I'd like for you to consider. Well, my first book that I want to bring to light today is one of my personal favorites, and that would be Hack Slash from local Chicago-based publisher Devil's Due Publishing. Uh, Hack Slash is written by Tim Seeley with artwork by Emily Stone. Now, fans of Buffy the Vampire Slayer are going to enjoy this book. Uh, Hack Slash tells the story of Cassie Hack, a young woman whose job is to um, hunt down and kill different types of um, axe murderers or slasher killers that you would find typically in horror movies. And this issue here, uh, number 21, starts off a new story arc within the, the Hack Slash uh, comic book. Cassie Hack has to um, get sprung from jail and is essentially trying to outwit a rock god, uh, which is a demon from hell that is trying to reclaim a mystic electric guitar. Now, this might not make a whole lot of sense to you, but within the context of the story, it's pretty fun, pretty crazy story with a few uh, pop culture references and um, overall pretty snappy dialogue. So if you haven't read Hack Slash, I highly recommend this book. Uh, the only qualifier being is that it is more for mature readers. There's a little bit of um, saucy language in here, although really not a whole lot that um, most kids haven't heard, let's say, in high school. And uh, one uh, sequence in the book uh, is kind of fun. Uh, I'll just describe it as Kramer would have said in Seinfeld, the cat fight. Check it out. It's a fun book and you'll like it. Another one of my picks is The Phantom, Ghost Who Walks from Moonstone Publishing. Those who are familiar with the Lee Falk character know that the Phantom, based out of Africa, uh, fights the pirates that are led by the descendants of Genghis Khan. But in Ghost Who Walks, there's a little bit more of a contemporary feel to it. Taking place in modern times, the Phantom finds himself confronting a league of suicide bombers that are terrorizing uh, some of the African nations. It's a, it's a compelling book with contemporary themes. Give this book a look. It's from uh, local publisher Moonstone Books. It deserves a look. Of course, I can't do these segments with talking about at least one Marvel book in my Marvel pick of the week. This week is Thunderbolts, number 130 by Andy Diggle and Bong Dazo. That's one heck of a name if you ask me. This is part two of the Magnum Opus crossover with Deadpool. And for this issue, they've decided to kind of dispense with the moody, dark overtones of the Thunderbolts book in its regular run and have gone with more of a madcap, cartoonish type style with, of course, the Merc with the mouth getting plenty of one-liners. Uh, I've got a no prize for the geek to me viewer who reads this book and catches the not one, but two references to Star Wars. Check it out. And my final pick of the week is Indiana Jones and the Tomb of the Gods, number four, from Dark Horse Comics. I was really excited when I learned that Dark Horse was reviving the Indiana Jones license, license and doing even more Indiana Jones comic books. Uh, this story takes place before, if you can believe it, uh, Temple of Doom. So it takes place between Temple of Doom and Raiders of the Lost Ark. And for many folks who have been wondering how Indiana Jones went from being a hunter of fortune and glory to thinking that it belongs in a museum, this story provides you with that answer. So check out Indiana Jones and the Tomb of the Gods. And trust me, if you're a fan of the man in the hat, you'll enjoy it. Well, folks, those are my picks of the week. I hope you patronize your local comic shop and check these out. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what your picks are, what are your favorite books, and be sure to comment here on the Red Eye Geek to Me blog. 
I look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, this has been Elliot Serrano for geek to me